perfect. Obviously, I am not the poster girl for clean eating. <laughs> it's almost August. Are you ready for another challenge? I have a, another challenge for you. A healthy habits challenge. Are you ready? Okay guys, so for August, you all know I have been talking about doing a, a healthy eating challenge, clean eating challenge, etc. So I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do and I have a feeling that this video is going to be long. So get yourself a cup of coffee. And wait scratch that. Get yourself a bottle of water and drink it while you're watching my video. Let's start this out right. Let's start this month out right. Okay, so for the month of August, I'm doing a healthy habits uh, tracking challenge or just healthy habits challenge. Yes, we'll just call it that. Health, healthy habits challenge. And of course, I have a free printable for you. <laughs> so this is the printable and I will put it down in the description below. If you have trouble downloading it, let me know. I think I fixed that problem. So I will put all my free printables that I have made recently and in the description below in case you still want to check them out. So this is just for one week, but the challenge is for the month. So you're gonna have to wanna print out four of them. So I instead of doing like cleaning like I have done before, um, I'm going to do healthy habits. So not only am I going to do, um, eating clean, you guys do what you want. I'm not here to tell you what to do. If you want to do keto, if you want to do Weight Watchers, if you want to do, um, counting calories, um, first of all, this challenge is not about losing weight because I am not that channel. You hear Kelly? I can't film. She cries. <laughs> anyway, so, um, okay. So I'm not that channel. Um, yeah, I'm not going there. I don't want to be that channel. I've done that before. Not, not, you know, I've done my weight loss on, um, this channel before and I realized that doesn't work for me. So not doing that. Not that I'm not going to talk about it just a little bit, but, um, um, yeah. So, um, so before we really get started, I want to say, so we're all washing our hands, wearing our mask, social distancing, so we won't get COVID. But what are you doing to not get cancer? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? That's what we need to be doing because you can look it up because, you know, just look it up because that's what I tell you to do. Look it up. But you have a higher percentage of chance in your lifetime of getting um, cancer than you do of getting COVID. Now, of course, we don't know where that's going right now. So, you know, that could change. But I don't think so. Um, from what I read, you have a 35 to 50% in your chance in your lifetime of getting cancer. That's just getting cancer. Um, and then, of course, the percent, a huge percentage of that is um, people dying from cancer. I'm not going to put the numbers. I'm not going to tell you the numbers. Go look them up. You can figure that out for yourself. It's a lot. And in my family, um, it's a lot. <laughs> my dad had prostate cancer. My mom had skin cancer. I had thyroid cancer. If you're, case, you're new to my channel, I had a thyroidectomy, so I no longer have um, a thyroid, which makes losing weight really difficult really difficult um plus i have hashimoto's my sister had cervical cancer um all of us have gotten over that there's no signs of cancer but recently my sister did get um melanoma cancer and that's different than skin cancer because skin cancer is um i mean it started on her skin but it can um i don't know grow into other areas of your body um, but that she nipped that in the butt by eating a um, plant-based diet. Yeah, really strict plant-based diet for the last two years and she's good to go. Unfortunately, my sister, other sister, um, had just cancer that she um, suffered for 12 years with and three years ago she actually passed away. So I have a high um, chance of you know, getting cancer, which I already did, but, and I thought I was done, <laughs> but, which I am for, as far as I know I am, but you know, my sister got 
can't do it the second time. So, you know, I need to take better care of myself and um, we all need to take better care of ourselves. And if you eat healthy and live a healthy lifestyle, you will help the COVID. <laughs> so you'll maybe, I'm not gonna say you're less likely to get it, but, cause that's probably not true. You're just, I don't know, it could be true. Um, that if you do get it, that you could fight it off a lot better if you're healthy. So yeah, so I just feel like that we need to be thinking about um, how we can prevent cancer rather than how we can prevent COVID. I don't know <laughs> how to, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to say something wrong there, but I think maybe you guys know where I'm getting at. So, and you know what? Not only would that prove eating healthy and doing healthy things, exercising, drinking water, um, helping getting sunshine every day, um, uh, relaxing, meditating, all those things, reducing your stress, stress is a huge, huge, huge cancer problem. Yes. Um, I want to say it probably was a good cause, part of the cause of my thyroid cancer because that, and my sister, um, my sister's recent thing too, because both of us were helping take care of my elderly parents. My mom has Alzheimer's and my dad has, um, well, he had mild cognitive impairment, but now he's in a nursing home too. And it was for the last 10 years, super stressful, super stressful to figure out the logistics of all that and helping and yada, yada, yada. Plus I was going through depression and anxiety because I had my thyroid out and that just snowballed it. But you know, also I'm thinking that was, cause that happened eight years ago and the whole my mom and dad thing happened like 10 years ago. And it was really difficult to help out with that, with um, uh, going through depression and anxiety and stuff. So, you know, I have been eating, so let's forget about that. <laughs> so I have been eating clean for like, um, I don't even know, 15 years, but I'm not perfect. Obviously I am not the poster girl for clean eating, <laughs> but y'all know I try, but I don't always show when I don't try. So there's that. Just know that I struggle too, especially when I have my, my depression gets um, bad. And right now I'm good. As a matter of fact, just a little update. I might be a little hyper. You think? <laughs> I need to go get some blood work done because um, just a little side note, when you have Hashimoto's, you can float between what they call hyper and hypo. Hypo would be depression and hyper would be, yes, this scatterbrain thing. And you, I don't know, there's other things. It's not just that. But um, so I'm having a really hard trouble Focusing, I, um, ADH, I've got a little ADHD thing going on there. I'm not saying that's what I have, but it feels like it. And did you know that, um, cause I know a lot of you have Hashimoto's and thyroid issues that follow me. Did you know if you have Hashimoto's that uh, a lot of people with Hashimoto's, um, have been diagnosed with, or vice versa with, um, bipolar. Mm -hmm. Um, I, th a lo I think most of the time they're diagnosed with bipolar first and then kind of find out it's really Hashimoto's is what the problem is. And I'm not saying that I have that. I'm, and I don't think I do. I never asked about it. It's just that you float between the two and it makes you seem like, it makes you think like, feel like you're crazy sometimes. Cause yeah, um, just slow and sluggish, sluggish. And then, then right now my ba brain is freaking racing right now racing racing right now but i actually know somebody who has um bipolar and what i have is nothing i'm not comparing guys because you are a person that has bipolar is nothing like what i'm experiencing but i can tell you it's not normal <sighs> what i normally experienced back before i had a thyroid um yeah i don't know how to explain it so, you know, we all get depressed sometimes and I've been told that and I love my sister and stuff like that. So, but I want to tell you, I was experiencing depression. Um, I was experiencing depression before 
I had Hashimoto's or before I knew I had Hashimoto's and before my um, thyroid issues and thyroid aberration. But guess what? That was just probably seasonal depression. And yes, everyone, a lot of people get that. So my sister said to me uh, one time, she goes, you know, we all get depressed sometimes. No, it's not the same thing. <laughs> I love her, but I think you don't know what that is unless you actually have it yourself. The kind of depression that I've experienced on and off for the last eight years is deep, dark, horrible, awful, I can't get up off the couch, depression. Yes. Anyway, I'm good now. We're going to move on. This is not what this video is supposed to be about. <laughs> Maybe I should have saved that for another video. But anyway, so this is about clean eating. So this is the book that got me started on clean eating. It is an old book. It's from 2007, but it's still totally, totally, totally relevant. In fact, I think you'd have to buy it from a third party, but I will put the link down below. It is a great um, book. It's by Tosca Reno, and she does have some newer updates. Um, I don't know how new they are. I think she has one that's recharged. It's called The Clean Eating Diet Re Recharge. Now, don't, don't um, get <sighs> sidetracked sidetracked by this because it says the clean eating diet i'm pretty sure that was a marketing ploy um eating clean is not a diet it is a way of life and eating health it's eating healthy if you're confused what eat clean is it's not a diet like um uh, nutrisystem um even weight watchers but eat, eating weight watchers is trying to get you to eat clean but i don't know i'm just gonna say this real quick i don't like the fact that they promote their products which yeah it's processed food those little snacky things and stuff anyway I don't like that fact but anyway um not that I don't eat some of that kind of stuff sometimes but anyway I just don't like that um so so eating clean is not necessarily about losing weight and I'm not again this challenge is not about losing weight if you want to do that if you want to track your calories and share your weight loss that's fine I might show it a little bit and share. I'm going to share with you in a minute about that. Um, but I don't want it. I don't want it to be just about that. So just eating healthy is the way to do it. It's not a fad. <laughs> it's what we all should be doing for the rest of our life. Cut out the junk, which means processed foods mostly. And um, eat healthy. Fresh is best. Frozen is good too hand is better than eating crappy foods but anyway so um so there's that and then then she also ha I also have this the clean eating diet it is a cookbook so if you're interested in that I'll put it down below to tell you the truth I don't use this <laughs> but I know some of you like cookbooks so and it's that's what I wanted to say about this it is very I'm a very visual person and uh, it has big print and um it just explains um, your superfoods, and I just sent this to Nancy, um, a subscriber, and um, because she was struggling recently, and we got to talking, and I had an extra one because it was my dad's, and he and I ain't like he's exactly gonna be using it right now. So I was hanging on to it, and I don't know why. I'm not, actually don't know why I'm even hanging on to this because I don't really need it. Um, I just like to look at it for inspiration in my face it's sitting on the shelf just like this like screaming at me michelle eat clean and guess what i'll put a link down below but i follow this channel called clean and delicious and she talks about what clean eating is and it's different for different people um but she says basically it's just eating you know fresh non-processed foods at 75 percent of the time not 100 percent. you know it is the world that we live in and um, you know, I try to eat clean, but you know, my husband, I don't know what <laughs> to say about that. He likes them snacky things. And for the last month, that's been bad. So getting to that. So since March, I decided since we were staying home, I'm going to concentrate on eating clean because all of last year I was depressed and who wants to cook when you're depressed? And so I was eating fast food and buying junky stuff and all that kind of stuff. So I'm always I've having to push that reset button. 
all the time. So, um, yeah, um, it is what it is, but I keep trying. I fall down, I get back up again and I'm trying, and I'm trying. So in March, I started eating clean again. I lost 17 pounds, um, probably within the first six weeks. Um, I'm not trying to lose weight. Do I need to lose weight? Yes. I'm saying I'm not trying to lose weight. I need to lose weight, but that's not my main focus. My main focus is eating healthy and I would like to go plant-based. I don't know if I will. I would like to, my sister did it. Um, but I lost 17 pounds, but in the first six weeks and then in July, the bottom fell out a little bit because I was doing my taxes and yeah, that's what, just what happened. I don't want to tell you. I got sidetracked. I stopped. I stopped walking. I didn't exercise. I did. I walked um, April, May, and June, 140 miles for the total of the three months, which was more than I would have done in the walk 100 miles challenge that I have done in the past, um, which was only 100 miles. I walked 140 miles. I know I need to do some kind of daily exercise. That seems to help me stay on a routine with everything in my life. I don't know. I don't know why I stopped. So I'm going, I'm going to be doing that. So <laughs> talking, this is going to be a long video. So, um, all right, so let's get to the printable. So <laughs> let's get to the printable. So this is the printable. Can you see that? All right. So, uh, I have it in three sections. It is healthy eating, uh, water and exercise and self care. So it's not just um, eating healthy foods. You decide what you want. So I, my suggestion was uh, print out one um, at a time and work on um, tracking your habits one week at a time. Maybe the first week you might not want to fill in all of these because honestly, when um, Hubby and I first started eating clean, he does eat clean sometimes. <laughs> the food I give him, but it's just the snacky stuff. But anyway. I'm trying to fix that. Um, the first month that we didn't, that we decided to eat clean. Actually, I'm not sure that's how it happened. We just decided to cut out soda. So I haven't had soda in years and I don't even like it anymore. So we did, we were huge Coke and then diet Coke drinkers, which don't drink diet Coke guys that inhibits your ability to lose weight and the chemical in it, the NutraSweet. Yeah, not good. Don't, don't do, do that. Don't drink your calories, even though this is not about weight loss. Drink water. Save your calories for ice cream. <laughs> anyway, so um, drink water. Drink water. And I struggle with it so bad, and so that's one of my things. So what I wanted to say is sometimes when you're just beginning, so if you're just beginning trying to get healthy habits, I'm not just beginning. I'm rejuvenating, pushing that reset button, and... Um, tweaking what I've already been doing and trying to make it even more of a habit every day. So I would suggest maybe just doing one healthy habit, healthy eating habit a week, one water and exercise a week, and one um, stretching. And then the second week, maybe you want to add another thing and then you just X off. If you did that every day, don't beat yourself up if you didn't do all these things every day. So on my healthy eating, I have no gluten. I am gluten intolerant. Um, Yes, I've already been eating gluten-free for years. As a matter of fact, here's a picture. <laughs> so that's what I used to look like before I went gluten-free. And now here's another picture. That's what I look like when I went six months gluten-free and lost quite a bit of weight. That was several years ago. Since then, I wasn't uh, diligent. You have to, when you're gluten intolerant, you actually have to eat, it takes six months to get rid of all the gluten in your system. And I have to eat um, no gluten, otherwise I can't lose weight. I, I swear that's, I don't know that that's a fact, but that's my fact <laughs> because it inhibits my ability to lose weight. So right now I am eating gluten once a week, maybe, and I need to stop. That's the only way I'm going to lose weight to totally not eat it. Uh, I love bread. What can I say? And I do have gluten-free bed, but 
It doesn't taste like Dave's color bread. I do. I did recently do a review on a gluten-free bread. It is really good. Um, I really like it, but I don't know. I don't know. I still like to have some regular bread sometimes. So I'm going to be working on gluten and juicing. Um, back a while ago, um, uh, beginning of March, I started juicing again. Kind of slacked off. Juicing uh, reduces inflammation. My Hashimoto's causes inflammation. So that's a really good thing to do and to get a huge amount of vitamins in you quickly because you cannot eat a whole bag of carrots. <laughs> it's impossible to eat and all those carrots. Anyway, so juicing it. I don't know, look it up. I'm not an expert on juicing, but my sister does it. That's how she got rid of her cancer. Um, and she lost 30 pounds. Yeah, it just flushes out your system and detoxes you. And yeah, and it's just a really, it's a really good thing to get a lot of vitamins in your system really quickly because it's impossible to eat that many fruits. And well, excuse me, vegetables. Y'all don't juice your fruit. No, 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 no. I put in an apple and a lemon in my juice because, um, to give it a little um, yummier taste, but you really should, plus an apple is um, way more, what do I wanna say? Heavy, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. Then like say strawberries, just eat them strawberries whole or put them in a smoothie and they're not, not just, you don't wanna just, there's so much nutrient in there. Those are easy to eat and digest you can't, like I said, you can't possibly eat a whole bag of carrots, but you could eat a whole bag of strawberries. <laughs> anyway, you need all that fiber. You need that. So just don't juice. It's a waste to juice your fruit. Uh, so I want to juice, start juicing more. I believe I did, and I'll try to insert a picture, um, that I started juicing earlier. Um, when did I do that? I don't remember. Was it this year? Or but anyway, there's a picture where my face is way thinner than it is now because I was really diligent for like a month or no for a week, and the reduction in my inflammation, I'm puffy right now, y'all. Um, it reduced a lot in just one week of juicing. I was diligent, so. For me, this is me being more diligent. I'm already doing these things. I'm just not diligently doing these things. So, and then I have no junk because this last month I've been eating hubby's junk. So I want to do no junk. I still have a treat every once now and then. And it doesn't mean I'm going to do this every day, but I'm going to try the gluten every day. The juicing every day. And then I have three bottles of water. I, I hor am horrible about drinking water. Um... I'm just, I'm just horrible. I struggle with it. The reason is because of coffee. Mm -hmm. I have to stop drinking coffee because coffee inhibits my desire to drink water. So confession, I probably, sometimes I've had two coffees a day. Which I want to say two coffees equals the same as one frosted coffee. So there's that. <laughs> so, but anyway, I'm no longer just drinking frosted coffees. I had one recently and I decided I don't like it anymore, but I need to cut back on the coffee. I need to cut back on the sugar, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm just going to put, I'm just going to do less coffee, one coffee a day. And I'm going to make a rule, make a rule for yourself. Drink. So I'll, this morning I did not allow myself to drink, have my coffee until I drank a whole bottle of water. You know, like that rule I gave myself to, um, drink one bottle of water before after my walk before I went home I was not allowed to go home until I drank one bottle of water make rules for yourself and the other one thing I want to do is start riding bike because I haven't done any exercise this week whatsoever and then I have self-care so you decide some of the self-care things you could do is yoga stretching I'm gonna do stretching I only have one thing for that and then next week maybe I'll make add another another thing for self-care there's Cali <laughs> She came to say hi, um, would be maybe go to bed earlier, go to bed without your phone, me. <laughs> that is something I want to do. Just don't know if it's going to happen this month, but maybe. Um, read every day. 
um, meditate, um, take Epsom salt baths, whatever it is that you want to put down here, because that is for your mental health. Get sunshine every day. That might be something. I didn't write that because I'm going to get that when I do a bike ride. That's another thing. I haven't been getting enough sunshine because I have not been exercising. So anyway, print this out and start thinking about what you want to do. Today is, um, I don't know, today's Wednesday when you're going to see this. It's going to be the 29th. Okay. So then you have a couple days to think about it. And then this tracker is Sunday through Monday. So really... It would only start on the second. So Saturday, I want you to clean out your refrigerator and clean out your pantry and get it organized and clean and set up so you have a fresh start on Sunday to start eating clean, eating healthy, drinking water, exercise, and doing some self-care. So what do you think? Is this something you want to do? Let me know in the comments below if you want to join. I was way too chatty and I don't know how long this video it's going to be. So I'm ready for to make some habit stick. Did you know that it takes 28 days? Sometimes I've seen 20, sometimes I've seen 30. We're going to go with 28. It takes 28 days to, for something to become a habit. And it did a really good job of that of walking on a daily basis. Yeah, so I need to do these things. And definitely the gluten if I want to lose weight. Oh, so one more thing about that. So I lost 17 pounds since um, March, but I gained, did I say that? I gained back five pounds this month. Pfft, not good. Uh, anyway, but I lost four <laughs> in just this last week. It's crazy because of gluten. I'm telling you, because of gluten. I didn't have any gluten this week. I had some yes, last night. I don't know what happened. I did, but um, no more. Um, so I lost four pounds because it hit him. It's my bill. It, it causes inflammation and I think it, it retains water. I uh, think, I know it re makes me retain water. And when I retain water, I can't lose weight. Oh, I, it's complicated. <laughs> Download this, print it out, get started. Oh, I got one more thing. Oh my gosh. That, so... I'm not going to do like a weekly or daily check-in or anything like that. Um, I'm going to do um, a video once a week. And it's going to be kind of like my anti-procrastination video where I kind of do a few um, anti-procrastination things. And then it's like a vlog. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a couple clean eating things. Maybe show you a recipe. Um, show you how I'm doing that day. But... I can't do these compilation weekly videos. It's just too much. So in the meantime, go to the Facebook page. It's called Clean Eating My Everyday Wife Life. I'll put the link down below. So we can have daily support there on that page for this month. Share your recipes. Share what you're doing. Share exercises that you're doing. Share things that you're doing for your mental health. Whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to share. I'll be sharing there. Um, two, I will be sharing some websites to go to um, that is about clean eating if you're interested in that and so on. So go to there and the printable will be there too, but also be in the link below or just check in here every, I think I'm going to post, I haven't decided, Monday or Tuesday. I should post on Monday. Yeah, I'm going to post every Monday some kind of video. Um, this week it might be food prep and how to clean out your refrigerator and pantry and what to stock in there for clean eating type of diet if that's what you're going with. If keto works for you, do that. Don't do anything. Just eat clean. <laughs> Just eat healthy. Maybe this is the first time you're doing something. Just cut out the junk and the rest will come. Anyway, that's it guys for this video. Drink your water and enjoy your day.